Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Shantae. You guys should totally subscribe and join the family. Guys, it's so cold in my house right now. I don't understand New England. It's hot one day, the next day I am freezing. I don't know, but I haven't filmed a video in a little bit, so I'm excited to be filming today. It's night, I never film at night. I just have so much to catch you guys up on, so much to tell you. Basically today I'm gonna be filming a answering questions I've been avoiding video. It's gonna get juicy. It's gonna get serious. But yeah, I just have a lot that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I also got my nose pierced. But yeah, I think that's it for the intro. We're just gonna get into it. Sorry, I'm like antsy. I don't, is that the word antsy? I don't know. But we're just gonna get into it. Okay, so I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, you definitely should. This is where I kind of like interact with you guys for my videos the most. First question, what is your guilty pleasure? Can ice cream be a guilty pleasure? Yeah, it could be food, right? I would say ice cream. I just had a pint of ice cream before this video. I'll tear some ice cream up. Another thing is matcha. I am a sucker for matcha. I was never a matcha girl, but I figured out my order. It's an iced matcha with oat milk and four sugars. No matter what the size is, I always get four for some reason. And oat milk changed the game for me. Oat milk sounds so bougie, but like almond milk made it taste too sweet. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna just F around and try oat milk. So good. Um, yeah. I also really like pink drinks from Starbucks. I just love matcha and ice cream. Ugh. I don't even care, like, I do not care when it comes to ice cream. It, guilty pleasure, that's definitely what it was. Would you rather go back in time five years or in the future five years? I don't know, because if I could go ahead five years, I would, because like, I wanna see how successful I'm gonna be. I wanna see like all the stuff that I go through, people I talk to, friends along the way, places I go. I just wanna like see that and then use it as motivation to keep going, you know what I mean? But if I could go back, I would go back and change stuff. But every time it's for a reason. So if I went back and changed things, I wouldn't be who I am today. I'm gonna say go ahead five years and see like, see what happens, you know? Cause five years from now I'll be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'll be 23. Insane. What's your biggest pet peeve? A lot of them. I have plenty of pet peeves. Where do I start? I don't know, I really don't know. I don't like when my mom wakes me up on my days off. I like to sleep in, I like to relax. Another pet peeve, um, bad hair days. She looks good today, I'm just a little cold. Um, another pet peeve, um, when people say one thing and do another, biggest pet peeve. I really can't think of pet peeves, but like, yeah, just like little irritating stuff like that, I would say. What do you look for in a partner? Um, I want somebody that makes me laugh, makes me smile, doesn't make me question my self-worth. Like somebody who doesn't make me feel like my anxiety is an illness, keeping me intrigued. And then something else that I'm learning, I bought this book. Actually, let me show you. I'm trying to think of some of the questions like, oh, what do you want a partner? But some, basically I'm telling you this because I was working on my book, like my, I do try to do it like once a week because there's only like 10 chapters and I'm trying to make it stretched so I could keep growing as a person. But something that I'm learning is not even to bring astrology into it, but Aquarius people like know what they want. They're very like firm. I don't know. I've been really getting into astrology and just trying to like expand my mind and like learn more about it because like I've always been into it, but like I'm really starting to pay attention to like signs and their traits and stuff. Anyways, back to the book. I'm learning that somebody, like something that I want a partner, somebody that challenges me because I am very firm, go-getter, know what she wants. I'm just very goal-minded. I like know what I want. I know what I'm gonna do to get there. But the biggest thing is I want somebody that challenges me to like be better, like push me to my fullest potential, like as I would push you. That, I just rambled for like a long time, but I think that's my biggest thing is somebody that makes me laugh, makes me happy obviously, um, somebody the fam likes, that's always a plus, and just somebody that challenges me then like pushes me to my fullest potential. 
how are you doing since your breakup? Honestly, great. I'm doing just dandy. Like, I haven't been this happy, not even to br talk about the breakup, but like, the bigger picture moment here. I haven't been this happy since, like, in a long time. My mental health hasn't been this good in a long time. I'm super happy, stable. I don't have to give anybody an explanation on what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, in love with life. Like, I'm romanticizing the little things. Like the other day I went to like a little coffee shop in this little town and got my little drink. I'm just in love with life. Like, I look forward to waking up every day. And I just, life's been going really good. Like, I honestly am in a good place right now. And everything happens for a reason. I wish him nothing but the best, but I'm ready for the next chapter in my life as he is too. And that's the rest that I'm gonna say about that on this channel. It is what it is, we're moved on. We are growing as people. We are strong, women, men, whoever, I would judge. But we are strong and we don't need somebody to make us happy. We should depend on our own happiness and then reach out for partners and then grow as individuals in a relationship. That's what I want. That's what I wish for you guys. <laughs> um, this is a good, I'm still holding my freaking book. What are you doing? This is a good one. It says, what keeps you motivated to keep doing what you're doing? Um, just wanted to mention I'm actually home alone right now and I wanted to talk to somebody so I started filming and it's honestly helped me out a lot. Just like my future, I'm doing hairdressing full time. I try to maintain my YouTube channel. Um, I just know what I want in life and I know like Things are something my parents taught me from the get-go. Things are not gonna get handed to you. Things are not gonna get handed to you and like you have to work for them. I've seen that firsthand. I've learned that firsthand. And I have way too many goals, way too many places that I wanna travel to, things I wanna do to be sitting around wasting time. Time is too short. Life is way too short. We have to make the most out of our days. Like Life could be gone within like the blink of an eye, as cliche as it sounds. Like I just feel like the past years have really taught me that. Like, dude, like life's too short. You cannot. I just try to live every day like it's my last. Like I have no time to waste. I, I make the most out of my days. My mom's always told me, everybody has the same 24 hours. It's up to you to decide what you're gonna do with them. That's that. <laughs> What's been the hardest thing you faced on your journey so far? Um. I think like high school in general was like a lot for me. High school mixed with mental health issues is like a a disaster at its finest. But I got through it, I obviously graduated, that's in the past. And I notice when I go back to my high school for like sports to support like my younger friends and stuff, I get super anxious. Like I don't even wanna like say PTSD, but like I, I don't do well going back to school. Like, I didn't realize how like bad it was until I went back, if that makes sense. Like it's just weird like how you could go somewhere and old memories like strike up. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I'm just glad that I'm out of that situation to be honest. Um next question. <laughs> Actually, I think this might be my last one. We'll see. Something that you're struggling with right now and how you're working to overcome or manage it. That's deep too. What the heck you guys like? Oh my god. Just like really like figuring out who I am again I was in a relationship for literally three years and I feel like the Person I was in the beginning. I was 15 I'm almost 19 Um, that's literally two different people. I was literally a child. I'm a grown woman now and I'm just working on figuring out what I like. I'm figuring out what I like to do, people I wanna surround myself with, what I wanna do with my future, like goals, plans. I'm really just trying to figure out who I am again. And I've been struggling with that, but I, I'm slowly but surely getting it together. You know what I mean? It's a process, like the healing process. Like I got my eyebrows done, I got my little nose piercing. Um, I booked a nail appointment, I'm getting my hair done soon. I'm really just trying to work on the self-care. One of my close friends told me after she got out of her first serious relationship, she worked on self-care and really just making time and putting herself first. And like, that's when her boo came along. And I was like, hold up. If this is the secret formula, I'm gonna work on it. Like, 
but seriously i'm not in a rush to get into a new relationship but it was just inspiring you know like whatever happens happens but i was like wow like you can't sit around and wait for people like my life's gonna keep going his life's gonna keep going i need to grow we need to level up and remember the baddie that we are but anyways like i said nothing but love it's good blood we're good i it's weird talking about this stuff on youtube i don't know but i've been hanging out with so many people like the amount of people that i've hung out with this past month haven't hung out with them literally like since freshman year i don't know Something else that I want to tell you guys in this video is that I started therapy again. I'm just really, like I said, I'm really trying to work on myself, my mental, my physical, spiritual, just plan. But yeah, I'm really just trying to get it back together. And that's why I have had a little hiatus on YouTube, I guess. I mean, the excuses are going to get old at one point, but that's what's been going on. I'm really just trying to make time for me and just take things with a grain of salt take every day a day at a time that's what i've been doing so like days that i don't want to film i'm not going to film i have a couple videos that i still haven't edited that i don't plan on editing i just really wanted to get this up for you guys but yeah um i think that is all thank you guys for sending in questions this was a juicy video um i'm very impressed next time i post like i said my instagram and everything will be down below so you guys could my nose is you so you guys could like interact and whatnot but I love you guys all so, 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 so much. Never forget your worth. You are loved. You are strong. You are cared for. You are appreciated. Never forget that. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>